long boat. <laughs> Ugly looking in pictures, but in real life it's actually pretty. days not looking too forward to it yeah. the sink reach right here is pretty good but there is a current when the tide is flowing so unless the wind is blowing pretty strong it's a possibility to wrap the keel you definitely don't want to do that in a thunderstorm yeah. smells like really bad smoke out here yeah, and it's weird because it happened right when it started raining. And right when I turned the mask headlight off. I got worried for oh, a second. Yeah, right? I heard and turned it off just in case, but I don't think it's us. Is it possible for a lightning storm to have a smell to it? I don't think so. Lightning must have struck something. Be my guess. It smells like smoke and like dust and like concrete or something weird. It sort of has the same smell, you know, as when it, it first starts raining on a, on a dry paved road, only kind of smoky at the same time. No, well, something's definitely burning upwind. It's blown about 30 knots in the anchorage here. It just sucks. Not that we can't handle it, but just so tedious trying to make lunch or something and clean the boat or even just sit because the the swells are so steep and short that it uh, it plunges the bow right into the water and there's spray coming across the deck. We can't even have the hatches open. It's hot. It's just miserable. Ooh. I hope we don't have to deal with this too much longer. I'm really ready to move on. It's just getting so tedious. It's different too when we're not waiting for an adventure, going, you know, anywhere interesting. We're just sitting here cleaning the boat and hoping that somebody comes and buys it and we can get out of here. And we're feeling stretched for money, which isn't helping. It just adds stress to everything. We've had a really great sail coming from Palm Beach up here to Fort Pierce. Um, the wind was coming from the north, which wasn't what was forecasted. Um, we rode on the Gulf Stream for a while. That helped us. How much did it give us? Like a third of a knot? Uh, three no, quarters? Three quarters, yeah. Three quarters of a knot pushing with us, so that was good. We went... Um, I don't know. It was on and off. We were going like five knots and then went down to like three knots. And so we put up the sails part way through and ended up going like six, six and a half knots motor sailing. Um, calm ocean, great wind. We saw lots of turtles and a couple of dolphins and tons of boats fishing. Apparently there's good fishing out here. Look at the weird colored water. You think that's the dirty water flowing out of the channel? And why is it all rippling? Because it's flowing. Yeah, it's the current over there. We should shut the water maker off and get some muddy water. Oh yeah, and we made water on the way here. Three pounds. I think this means our trip is officially over. Yeah, back to the trailer. Sad to say, 
We are coming into the Fort Pierce Inlet right now. We should be in within the hour and hopefully anchored not too long after that. It's a holiday weekend. Tomorrow is Memorial Day, so we're pretty sure the marina office is going to be closed. So we're going to wait till Tuesday to go in and actually talk to them. So we're going to just anchor outside somewhere, not in the bar though. The current. <laughs> we're not going to repeat our first night out Maybe we should here. just for old time's sake. No. First and last. <laughs> no, we know how that ended up. We're not gonna do that again. That's some dirty water. <laughs> Looks like someone dumped their sewer. Gross. We we're doing point three. Oh yeah, like point seven. Yeah. I mean, look at this thing. We're passing this buoy like. Should have just anchored and waited for slack tide. I really think we're not moving forward. <laughs> we are. How strong's the current? Um, let's see, almost four knots. Three, three, three and a half, depending on which moment you look at it. <laughs> so, in other words, we're going really slow yeah. in through the bar. <laughs> really slow. even stronger now we're in just over four knots of current this is a full out river it's really coming down and how fast are we going um we're doing five through the water so we're making about one knot over ground not much and this is like what we were anchored in oh yeah that first night we wrapped the keel we were anchored in this current so it would have been about a four knot current even even higher than we realized at the time Times like this, we wish we were on a boat like that. <laughs> I slowed down for us. Most boats don't slow down for us. Especially in the Bahamas, the big ships, they liked rocking us around. behind us and both of his engines cut out at the same time and he's adrift just drifting back there yeah, in four knots, of current. In four knots four. of current with lots of other boats around so that's what all those cop boats were going for that was crazy are those the kind of boats that you used to build to let out line so we can back up. Oh, like 175? Yeah. Alright. I got the engine just in reverse chugging along so it'll pull against it good. All right, that's 75. That's 100. We're 100. I did 
125. You think so? You don't have any more room than that behind us before the school. We don't want to get on top of your anchor. 125. Okay, go ahead and pull us back in. That's where the arm muscles come in. <laughs> Are you still in reverse? What? Are you still in reverse? Oh, sorry. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Do you think it's set? Who knows? Line straight ahead of us up front. Yeah. Looks tight. Yeah. We're in shallow water. We're actually in about a foot of water under the keel. It should be a Good holding bottom here. All the other bays we've been in have been pretty great. Except for that one. What one? Um, where was it? Um, turtle? Huh? Yeah, that green turtle came is terrible. But uh, everything in the ICW uh, has been pretty good at the uh, bottom. And we got a full 100 feet out here on this one, so plenty of scope. And 75, or no, 50. On the front? On the front, plus the chain. Nice. So there's a good 65 feet up there. Yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be doing great here. We'll still keep an eye on it and check it. You know, when the tides actually change. But having a stern anchor is helpful when there's a current going against the wind. This is the infamous roast that Randall puked up. I can still taste it. What? I, I can still taste the flavor of puking that stuff up too. That's gross. Yeah, Randall has to cover his roast up with many flavors. Yeah, this is taco seasoning and teriyaki marinade. With pineapple. With pineapple in it. It, it really has to be flavored to death or I can't eat it. So all this is, it's just canned roast. Tastes just like a roast out of a crock pot. And then I've got it's some canned. rice and pineapple. I don't mix my food together like Randall does. That's just gross.